When we look at demand and expectations for further growth in this segment, it is huge. It's very, very attractive. But that investors also be, need to be very mindful of the players within this space. It's becoming very, very competitive. So today's winner, are they going to be next year's winner? So it's all about how you really know your customer, and it's also about taking the market lead. And then, of course, where's your margin of safety? Because if you're trading at very, very high multiples, you know, what are investors going to get for, for buying at that price? So again, it's very interesting, but it's very, very competitive. Yeah, and you make a great point. You have to look at demand and where that's coming from. Uh, let's look at the macro picture because we've got a lot of risk events uh, mm -hmm. going on and upcoming, such as the U.S. elections and the Fed trying to normalize. And when you're talking about China, you've got the property issue and the overhang of over leverage there. Um, what would you say the sentiment is in the Asian markets? I think it's guarded and a bit nervous and we're waiting for the outcome on the 8th or in Asian time zone the 9th with the US elections you know it's still anything could happen from again a long-term investment perspective we've stress test or done some sensitivity analysis on certain names in certain sectors which could be impacted by potential headwinds that come out of the US so for example if we do see increased protectionism then how is this going to impact IT services names as an example and if we do see a Republican win, you are going to see certain stocks, certain segments take an initial hit, but not a hit enough to sell out of these names completely.